Well, we are all staying at home and making the very best of the stay at home order that we're all under. And we're all learning more about ourselves and our loved ones since we are spending more time together than we probably ever have before. Even those who are used to the glamorous life like TV model and TV star of Real Housewives of Atlanta, Cynthia Bailey, and her fiance, author and TV personality, Mike Hill. And they are both joining us from Los Angeles right now. Thank you for being with us and getting up early hey hi good morning thanks for having us absolutely so you guys are quarantining quarantining in la it's been about three months now what have you guys learned about each other and your relationship you want to go first it's a test <laughs> um it's been good fortunately for us we've had more good days and bad days but uh what we've learned is that if we can survive this uh, we can survive anything. We look at it as a, a prison sentence, but at the same time, if I had to be locked up with somebody, <laughs> I wouldn't want to share a cell with anybody except Cynthia Bailey. So uh, that's what I've learned. Well, before the quarantine, mm -hmm. one of the things that I used to complain about to Mike was spending quality time yeah. together. <laughs> Let's just say I will be walking out of the quarantine not requiring or needing any more quality time you heard her say that now right you heard her say that <laughs> because there's a difference quality time is like uh -huh. you know, I didn't mean breakfast, lunch, and dinner morning noon and night i didn't mean that i didn't mean that i could go anywhere except costco now tati you know? wait wait until a week after this quarantine is over she's gonna be complaining about that quality time that she didn't get you know when i give her a space for about a week she's gonna be complaining about it but that's okay that's that's what life is all about we're willing to work. That's at. what it is all about. That really is what it's all about. Making it work. Sometimes it's a little too much. You'll have a little space. You'll come back together. It'll be beautiful. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. But Cynthia, you have been a housewife for 10 seasons now. And I'm going to put this out there. If you had to be quarantined with any of your fellow castmates, who mm -hmm. would it be and why? That's a good question. Um, Ooh. And I, I can only pick one, right? Only one. Yes. All right. I'm going to go with Candy. <clears throat> For two reasons. Uh, she likes to eat like I do, so I know we would have plenty of groceries. <laughs> and we're going to go to the grocery store. We're going to eat good in the quarantine. Wow. And Candy technically has two houses, so I could really, we could kind of be in the same house, but two different houses. So I mm -hmm. think Candy would be the ideal person. Yeah, she lives on the compound. Back. That's good. That's a good answer, babe. Right. That's and good. if I got bored, I mean, she can sing. She can sing to me. You know, we, we can have a lot of fun. It's almost like you've been thinking about that answer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just answering the question. <laughs> Entertainment and food. Listen, that's all we need to get through this time staying at home. That's for sure. But, um, Mike, I have a question for you. Did you realize what you were signing up for when you became a house husband, so to speak? Um, I kind of watched the show back in the day. Ironically, I used to watch the show with my ex-wife. <laughs> Cynthia, <laughs> Cynthia was her favorite housewife. So I, I kind of saw what uh, the interaction was between the ladies and how the, the men were kind of, uh, you know, incorporated in the whole episodes and whatnot. So uh, I kind of knew, but I also know that with my media experience, kind of how to back out, moonwalk when certain situations arise. And Cynthia does a great job of protecting me, too, to make sure that I don't get caught up in the fray. So I'm cool with it. Yeah, well, teamwork definitely makes the dream work. Um, but you also have a book, Open mm -hmm. Mic, and you're also yeah. doing a little series on social media about that. Tell us about that. Well, the series is called Open Mic Sessions, where I'm going to talk to uh, men like myself, just one on one, talking about relationships, talking about friendships with your spouse, your your being a, a good husband, being a good boyfriend, being a good fiance, being a good father, being a good coworker. And I'm going to do that series, kind of leading up to the uh, the release of my book. And if it wasn't for this book, uh, I, I don't think we wouldn't be together uh, because I wasn't the person that I needed to be. So she wrote the four word, the five word, the six word and the seven word because it's kind of long, but it's worth it. She's uh, she's been had a lot to say. Yeah, she had a lot. She always has a lot to say. So I'm re really proud of the book and I'm thankful that uh, people have been uh, supporting it so far. That's beautiful. And there's definitely a need for it out there. So I'm sure that it'll serve a lot of people. Now, of course, I have to ask, is the wedding still on track for this year? As of now, it is. As of now, the date is still 10, 10, 20. Um, you know, like everyone else, we don't really know if that date is going to stay. But as of now, we look forward to 10, 10, 20. And we don't want a Zoom wedding. So we're <laughs> like, you know, at this point, <laughs> we want, you know, I I've, see that. 
waited a long time for my happily ever after. So I really want it to be, um, you know, happy. And if that's the date, that's the date. If not, if we have to postpone it, we have to postpone it. But I really don't want to have to change it up too much because I really, you know, I want to be able to celebrate the way that I envision it before COVID-19. We might just do some African stuff and just jump a broom and call it a day. You know, what I mean? <laughs> right. as long as we're together, that's all that matters, right? Oh, yeah, for mm-hmm. sure. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, we pray that it is absolutely perfect in everything that you've ever dreamed of. We appreciate you guys taking the time to join us today on Live in the D. Thank you right. so Thank very you much. Thank you guys so much. What Thanks up, though? <laughs>